If you look at a study where one population is eating one group, one quartile or one quintile of that population is eating, let's say, 13% of their calories from saturated fat, and the other one is getting 18 or 19, I wouldn't expect much of a difference in risk. So yeah, the problem is extrapolating and saying, so this means saturated fat has no effect in any place of the distribution. It is okay to say this suggests that there's not much of an effect in this range. The overall extrapolation is that's where that's what trips us up. There's a kind of analogy that I've been using that I think can help people understand this concept or principle. It's one that I shared at a retreat recently when I was talking about saturated fat and some of this context. And I had two scenarios. So if we imagine an ice cube and there's scenario A and scenario B. And in scenario A, the temperature around that ice cube is minus 20 degrees. We increase the temperature from minus 20 degrees to minus 10 degrees. Now, in that scenario, you would expect that ice cube would stay frozen. So there's a 10 degree increase in temperature, but the form of that ice cube is maintained. It's not melting. Whereas in scenario B, we have the same ice cube. The temperature is minus five degrees and we do the same thing. We increase the temperature by 10 degrees and we take it to plus five degrees. But in that example, that ice begins to melt. And so we can see that in the in the two different contexts, what happens to that ice, despite the fact there's only a 10 degree increase in temperature in both, what happens to the form of that ice is different. And that's because in that second example, it crosses that melting point threshold. Yep, perfect. And you, you could even add the other end of the distribution where going from 10 to 20 degrees is not, it's still, it's going to be water in both cases. Yeah, it's, it's a perfect analogy that if we looked at just one of those comparisons off the critical threshold, and we concluded, aha, so temperature has no effect on the, the physical structure of water, how misleading that would be.